Good morning, everybody. I am sitting here getting my work done for the day, and by work done, I mean I stopped to watch a friend's vlog. Um, looks good. Like watching his channel. It's good stuff. But I got myself cleaned up already, and I got my hair done. I think I think I'm liking this. I don't know. Bonnie didn't give me really a feedback yesterday if she liked it or not. I think she mostly just wanted to know if I like it. But I really want to know what she thinks, because I don't know. I think it looks all right. I think I did okay. That's okay. Anyway, I'm sitting here, and it started snowing. Oh, you kind of can see these little bitty specks on the table and on my computer. That is not dandruff. That is insulation. They are in my attic right now, adding insulation. See? Big insulation truck out there, pumping it through. I've wanted to do this for years in this house, but I knew that as we did room to room to room remodels, that I would be getting back up there, disrupting a lot more insulation, and I just didn't want to do it up nice and then go in and tear it apart again. So I waited till we were completely done, which we finally are finished. I have all the wiring up there that I think I will possibly need in this house, and now it's a good time to do it. And this will increase the R value of my ceiling, and so my house will actually just maintain its heat. It will cost less to heat it. You can always tell a house has good insulation when you look at their house with snow on it. If their house does not have a lot of snow on it after a snowfall, that means the heat is getting through the roof and melting that snow and it's coming off. If there's snow on there, that means that the heat is staying in the home and the snow is just staying the cold temperature. So it's just kind of a good indicator. My house does not hold any snow on its roof at all. I have terrible insulation, mostly because it's been knocked around, mostly because when you put these can lights in, they're sources that allow heat to get through. So you gotta recover them up. You gotta do a lot of work for it. Um, and this insulation will take care of all of that. And the coolest part is, is a lot of places, so if you're looking to do it, a lot of places will give you a credit back on your gas bill or on your electric bill because it requires less energy to heat your house, they give you a credit back. So I will get a portion of that back. So it doesn't cost the full whatever it costs to do this. So that's pretty cool. So I think you guys should check that out. Is that a wardrobe change? It doesn't look like much of a change, but it is a different shirt. This is a different shirt. I've had this shirt for years. I love this shirt. They don't make it anymore or else I would put a link so you could go buy it, but they don't make it anymore. So I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. Anyway, I have had three of these big shelves in my garage for months and they are actually are like a slat board shelf. So it's supposed to like clip into a wall, but that clipboard stuff is like on such back order that I can't get it. But in order to make room for everything else in our house, I have to take my precious coolers, all my camping gear, and bring most of it out into this garage and hang it on this wall. And I think I can honestly hang it like up here somewhere and not have it affect the space in this garage or our walkway here. But I can't uh, like bolt it up to the wall the way I've done the rest of this stuff. So I'm kind of at a loss on a little bit of that stuff. But I think I've got mapped up in my mind how I can temporarily kind of just do it up. I just bought two of these boards. They're like five bucks a piece. So I'm really not out a lot of money and the shelves will still function just like normal when I um, get the slat board, but that's not gonna be in a while. We're trying to figure out how we wanna redo this garage area and just clean it up and make it look a little bit nicer. But that's low on the totem pole, but what is not is getting these packed up and kind of put away for right now. Okay, perfect, thanks so much. Okay, sorry I missed that appointment. Okay, we'll just hurry down there as fast as we can, so. Thanks, Bon. We interrupt this project to go and give the boys haircuts. Forgot that on the uh, calendar, my bad. It feels like lady. It feels like lady? Uh -huh. Feels super soft? Yeah, it does. I didn't realize how bad of a haircut, or how bad you needed a haircut. Making it rain in here. <laughs> Thank you. I never brought you this house. Why? How come you want? How come you want the fan on? Cause, cause they, cause Boston farted so bad in here. Yeah, but why? Hey. Fart in here. Why are you so worried about the house? What have you been doing all day? I've been cleaning. 
Hey, leave those, leave those lights on. Leave those lights on. What have you been doing all day? I cleaned it. Did you clean this house? Yeah. You did such a good job, bud. Who cleaned the house all day today? I did. You did? Well, you did a good job because the house feels so Special. good. Putting up the shelves party. Back on track. Um, haircuts look really, really good. Look sharp. I'm actually glad we remembered that and uh, super happy that they look sharp for Christmas. Now, in order to set this drill on there, the clips that are built in for it don't work because of the wrong system, but this is just gonna be temporary. So I do need to just drill some temporary holes right here and on that side as well. And I'm gonna do one more right underneath there. That will be what's gonna hold this for right now, I think. And that'll work, that'll work. Could get the job done. Now for the entire reason that I built those shelves. If I built, I mean, installed. saves me a lot of space. I do have one more cooler, but I also have one more shelf that needs to go up, but I won't quite fit here. So I'm not entirely sure where it's going to go. We'll have to figure that out, I guess. What is this? I have a board with nails that need to be pounded out. I know just the guy for the job. Cody Clark's his name and pounding is his game. So he's gonna be so excited to pound out those six nails. Did I grab the hose and spray this all down and get rid of all the leaves and stuff off of it in the middle of December? Yeah, I did. And I did that area too. I didn't do a hard spray and get rid of all the dirt, but it at least got rid of all those leaves and those little helicopter pods and stuff. Clean this place up. I kind of missed my weekend or my window to really winterize the yard one last time. You have to do it like a dozen times, but I missed the last one. Uh, I don't even remember why, what was going on? Something was going on. I think Bonnie's birthday might've gotten in the way before the big snow came. And uh, anyway, I got a lot of debris still out and uh, like you can see all the debris in the corners over there and stuff like that. That's what I got rid of in the backyard. Now I just need to finish up here and clean it up. I think we have had a very adventurous day today. We've gotten a lot done. I think I'm gonna close the vlog here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you think my new shelf is awesome. I mean, that is so cram packed already, ridiculous. Give that a thumbs up just for that reason, if you like shelves. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Thank you.